everyone. Welcome back, guys. Today we're playing Tiny, Tiny Towns. Towns. Um, it is a game for uh, one to six players, ages uh, 14 and up, and it takes about 45 minutes to play yeah. around. Yeah, so it's a fun little like town building game uh, that you get, and you get these fun like little wooden peaches that come with it. Um, and the whole concept of the game is just to collect resources and build up your little tiny town. So with that, we'll kind of go into a little bit of the rules uh, as they appear. So yeah, um, so what will happen is at the beginning of each turn, someone is designated as the master builder. Uh, they get this little tool and it's uh, hammer time for them. <laughs> um, and what that essentially means is that on their turn, they get to pick a type of resource and everyone gets to collect one uh, cube of that resource and place it anywhere on their town board. Um, there are five resources that we have. Um, there's glass, which is the blue cube, uh, stone, which is the gray cube, wood, which is the brown cube, wheat, and brick. And so what you do is you take one of those resources and you place it anywhere on your board. Um, not quite just randomly like that, but the idea is that you're putting them on your board. And the idea is that you'll keep accumulating resources based on whose ever turn is, and you're trying to build patterns of resources. And that's where these building cards come in. Um, there's several different types of buildings, but as you can see, they kind of have a pattern here that is on the bottom of each card. So a stone on top of a blue, uh, flanked by two uh, woods on either side. And essentially, once you get one of those patterns on your town, you get to collect a building of that type and place it on your board. Uh, and each building has a different ability that kind of synergizes when it's next to other buildings, um, also when it's next to other resources. And the idea is, like I said, just to keep building up your town with these various different buildings. Um, and it kind of just keeps going back and forth. And the game ends uh, essentially when either uh, someone chooses to duck out, uh, at which point you can do it any time, uh, probably not advised early on in the game, or someone has filled up their board with either resources or buildings and can't, doesn't have another playable move. And at that point, you pretty much count up um, the number of buildings you have and the buildings score you different victory points. And any open squares that you have left on your board, uh, resources are removed at the end of the game, counts as a negative one point um, per resource or per square and uh, whoever has the most points wins the game. So it's a pretty simple game, not terribly complicated. Like I said, the main strategy in of it is learning is figuring out how you're gonna uh, build your town essentially. So a lot of city planning goes into that. Yeah, well, we hope you enjoy this game. Uh, you can come check it out at the Mount Horeb Public Library. Thanks uh, again to the friends of the library for our excellent game collection and all the new games that we got too. yeah we got a bunch of new yeah. ones so come come check them out yeah so if you liked our video don't forget to hit that like button down below and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as we continue to post uh videos for all our programming that we have so we will see you guys next week